Hello everybody and you're very warmly welcome to our blessed show. My name is Na Ashoko and I'm hanging out with with Benjamin of Adam. And together we bring to you the, the summons. summons. This is a program specially designed to bring you the word of God through great music, inspiration, and so much more. It is designed to remind you of your Christian calling, to bring encouragement to the desolate, and also serve as a source of godly entertainment. This show is brought to you under the kindest sponsorship of Unique Productions. All right, let's go on to our first batch of ministrations by Laudina the Soprano and Joel Brian Adu, bringing to you the prayer. And help us to be wise In times when we don't know Find your love. I pray we'll find your love and hold it in our hearts. And hold it in our hearts. When stars go out each night. When stars go out each night. Remind us where you are. Remind us where you are. Let this be our When shadows fill our day When shadows fill our day Lead us to a place Oh yeah Guide us with your grace Guide us with your grace Give us faith so we'll be Lead us to a place, oh yeah. Guide us with your grace. Guide us with your grace. Give us faith so we be saved. So
Help me to watch and pray, and on thyself rely. Assured, if I my trust betray, I shall forever die. That's indeed a very daring proclamation. And that takes us to our ministration in word for today's episode. And it's going to be presented to us by none other but the Reverend Dr. Joyce Rosalind Ayi, who is the founder and executive director of Salt and Light Ministries, Ghana, and also a stateswoman. Auntie Joyce, over to you. Dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, it's wonderful to be with you and to share with you some points about a very important aspect of our Christian faith, and that is the Great Commission. I suppose everyone knows what the Great Commission is. Well, I, I presume we all know about it. But I guess we also wonder, what does it really mean, this Great Commission, and am I involved? Isn't it for pastors? Isn't it for those who belong to evangelism committees? So what really is the Great Commission? Basically, the verse that is used to describe the Great Commission is Matthew chapter 28 and from verses 18 to 20. But the commission itself, I suppose, is from 19 to 20. But let's share a word of prayer. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we're grateful for this great opportunity to be part of the summons. It is you who call us to come to you. And we want to thank you for this call. Speak to us through me. And Lord, let your perfect will be done in our lives. For we too desire to please you in everything. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So brothers and sisters, as I said, the commission is from Matthew 28, from 18 to 20. And there we read, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And lo, I'm with you till the end of the age. This is Jesus speaking. A commission is um, a command, an instruction. And I can't help thinking of the military. When they finish their training, they are commissioned. Even reverend ministers, after they finish their training, they are commissioned. It means they are sent forth to go and do the tasks assigned to them. It's the same way. Can you imagine the Lord Jesus himself, the one who has actually died for the propitiation of our sins, the one who is our atoning sacrifice, who rose from the dead and before he ascended, called us, you, me, mortals like us, and asked us to go and complete more or less the assignment of reaching people for God, telling people about the fact that salvation is now full and free and can be obtained through the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's break it down a little bit. I love verse 18. It says, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Jesus has all the authority, whether in heaven, where Satan and his demons live in the heavenly realms, or whether on earth, where again demons live and other mortals also live. But heaven and earth, created by him, belong to him, and every authority there is his, given by the Father. And so he says to his disciples, you can say then Peter, John, James, and the others, but us too today who have come to faith, that because of this authority, he is sending us out to let people know about the saving grace that you can get from him and the power of transformation to be his followers. The key words are, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, 
go make disciples of all nations, teaching them to observe. You see, so it's not just going out there to do evangelism. In addition to telling people about the Lord Jesus Christ, we have to help them to be true followers, people who deeply love the Lord and are willing to walk with Him and obey Him in everything. Not fair-weather Christians who come because when you come to Christ, everything will be okay. You know, you buy a big car, you live in a big house, you know, you fly in jets. No, because life in Christ also has tribulations. You remember what Jesus said? Jesus tells us in John 16, in verse 33, that in this world, you will have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So the commission is that when you and I become Christians, when we come to faith and dedicate ourselves to loving Jesus and being with him as he enables us all the time, we too will actually tell others about this. And why not? You remember what Jesus again told the disciples in Acts 1, 8. There Jesus says, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses. I love the word witnesses because a witness is someone who has actually experienced an event, was there when it happened and can talk about it not in the second or third person, but in the first person. So we, having experienced the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, are to tell others how the Lord Jesus Christ found us, how he forgave our sins and cleansed us from all unrighteousness, how he has empowered us to live lives free of sin, how he fills us with joy so that even in the midst of storms, we can smile, and how we are assured of eternal life, how he has given us power to make a difference in our generation. This becomes our testimony that draws other people to come to him. And that is why he tells disciples to make disciples. After all, you cannot give what you don't have. So unless you and I have experienced the love of Jesus Christ, that deep cleansing love, that forgiveness of sins, that grace of righteousness given, it is difficult to convince others about the Lord Jesus Christ. So this great commission is that when you come to the Lord Jesus Christ genuinely, I come genuinely and enjoy the full benefits of forgiveness, of righteousness, of power to live to please God. We can't keep it to ourselves. You know how it is. You cannot keep it to yourself. You just cannot help telling others about it. I think it's a great privilege to be asked to make disciples of all nations. Can you imagine how much God trusts you and trusts me? How he knows that with his power, we can let others know about him as he opens his arms out to receive sinners. We have to do this. The Great Commission is very important. And it is meant for every Christian. And a Christian, let me say, is one who has received the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord and has been filled with his Spirit. That is a Christian. How can you sit, my brother, my sister, and not let others know about the Lord Jesus Christ and how wonderful he is in drawing sinners to himself, cleansing them and sending them forth 
a saint, yes. I don't know your name, but you can add saint to your name because you have been sanctified by the blood of Jesus. Remain blessed. Wow, what a word. Thank you so much, Auntie Joyce, for that great word on the Great Commission. Of course, we are called to be saints of Christ, and we don't need to be preachers to spread the word of God. I agree. Remember, you're watching the summons proudly brought to you by Unique Productions. On to our next ministration, beginning with All to Jesus, I Surrender by Lodina the Soprano.
Wow, what a show. You know, all the music has got me feeling like this is the day that the Lord has made. And therefore, we must rejoice, rejoice and, and be, be glad, glad in, it. in it. This has been great, and I hope you've been blessed by it. Remember, you can find us on YouTube at Lordina the Soprano. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Na Ashoko, and I've been hanging out with... Benjamin Ofero. And to sponsor the show, you can reach us on the contact details scrolling on the screen. The Word of God is particularly sweet, especially when received with love. Until the same time, this is the summons, a call, call to, to discipleship. discipleship.